Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindom Bai. Welcome you to our 10th lecture of creating a complete inventory management system. We are going to do 40 minutes and then I'll start our timer. So in the previous lecture, we were able uh, to update the category. Okay. And now we're going to work on updating the what? The stock subcategory also. Okay. When an item is being added in the what? In the in the system. All right, let's do that. So we shall come into stock items and then the stock items are going to go ahead and call this item. I'm going to just use the other technique. I'm going to uh, search for this item and it's the one that I'm going to use to update okay instead of feeding in their fresh data all right let's go ahead and do that so we shall come here to stock item controller and then come here on top and search for this item it's item number what item number two and item number one item one right now it is item one because of the we've deleted all the items okay and then we're going to put here number one like this uh -huh. so after doing that we're going to uh to to go ahead and search for this the other one was stock category let us go ahead and get his stock subcategory and also do the same thing okay so we're going to go ahead and say stock subcategory we find it like this and then we will call update self in the stock subcategory but you know i've not put that function in the stock subcategory let's go ahead and do it so I'll come here and copy this and then go ahead and put this stock subcategory here click on stock subcategory and then also put a, a function for update self. Let me delete everything so I can do everything again. So most things that we're going to do here, they're going to look much more like uh, those ones that we have done in the main category. Okay, so if we come here to main category, you'll see that uh, we're having, um, all right, <laughs> let's, let's do also this one step by step, okay? So I'm going to do, just do DD and say this, so you can see what we're going to update exactly. So we are now on what? On the subcategory. I uh, refresh and uh, let's go ahead and say so subcategory right update self and then we come here to stock items eh? so I refresh I've just called this one here I'm I'm, I'm here and stop stock item controller in here and let's just say it's update self here all right so Okay, stock subcategory. I get the stock subcategory and then I call update self. Let's go ahead and see that. So here I just do DD and then say die this one. Okay, so at this point we are getting this value. Okay, so I just dump this item. Okay, so if I come here and refresh, I should be able to see this. All right, okay, so let's go ahead and now. And now, um, and now do what? <laughs> and now fix things. All right. So, so I've just copied these items. I mean, these parameters or the values, or the attributes of uh, stock subcategory. And then we're going to check one by one and switch one. We're going. We shall need to update or something like that. Okay. So ID is okay. 
uncreated that is okay updated that is okay company id is okay company category is okay the name is okay the description is okay the status shall we need to update also the status oh, and something but if it is not active shall we need to okay let's leave it uh -huh. so the image is okay the buying price okay we begin from here total buying price total selling price and then total expected profit of this particular of item in this particular subcategory and then also the earned profit so this earned profit will be worked upon at last it's going to be the last thing okay the measurement unit is okay the current quantity we shall need it and then reorder level okay that is okay okay so out of stock maybe i think this is what this will already need all right so let's try and see copilot if it can help us all right copilot has done it for us let's just go through it step by step and see if they make sense <laughs> because you cannot trust this thing also all right so we get the financial year i already know how to get that one the active financial period okay so if it is null we return okay we get the total buying price <coughs> the total buying price is going to be so going to get this and then the total selling price then we get the stock items in this subcategory so you have to get now for subcategory not category where also financial period is got to this particular financial period and then we get the what there are total the total items in there and then after you start looping you loop through those items so you get the total buying price or the amount that you have invested in which is equal to that and also the total selling price the amount of investing it equals to that i think that is okay then we say maybe total expected profit equals to this minus this and then you go ahead and update their buying price a selling price and expected profit so i think that is okay all you need to change these two subcategories so copilot has done for us this i can remove this one so you can pause the video very carefully and see how i've able to have been able to achieve that i think that's okay uh -huh. one more thing the current quantity okay so the current quantity it was just going to be the the sum of all the current quantity in this category so current quantity you're going to first make it zero here make it zero and then we can add the current quantity by just saying current quantity is equal to plus equal to the current quantity like this i think that is okay and then here we'll make sure that you also add it on this Thing that is okay uh -huh. then reorder level reorder level this one is we are not going to touch it okay and then maybe uh and profit this one also calculate it when you work with the stock items boom i think that's all let's go ahead and refresh okay everything is okay uh -huh. i think that everything is okay let's go ahead and re and first comment this before we move it to where it's supposed to be okay refresh it uh-huh so let's go ahead and see stock stock what stock subcategories so you can see stock subcategories things are really tallied up tallied tallied up i don't know okay so you can see we have now uh five we have now 10 kilograms and then we have um we have um we have 10 kilograms and then we have the what the expected sales and then we have this one maybe a uh, one more column that we may need to add in here is uh to tell whether item is out of stock okay or it is still in stock maybe yeah i know we can calculate it but it would be good if we add it so it can make it 
it can make our life simple okay so let's add that column in stock out of stock okay let's add it to subcategories it can help us to make our life simple okay so let me uncomment this let's go ahead and go to our important commands okay so we're going to add it in what in subcategories let's get the table of subcategories this is the table name let me make sure i get the correct table name so how do you write the method so maybe add stock second so that's the name of our method okay so this is our command so you can put there anything but as long as it's unique and then make sure that you put the correct table there okay, let's add that column so i'll open the terminal and then now go ahead and click there and then come here and add that column okay so you put here maybe in stock so by default you can put no okay yeah yeah i think that is okay let's migrate by default should it be yes so it should be no it should be no because there are no items there so in stock it should be no by default all right now let's go ahead and uh, come here to stock item stock subcategory stock subcategory so you are going to check if it is in stock or it is not in stock okay so we check if right here so we go ahead and check if current quantity is greater than uh, what was the other name which was called what it was called uh, reorder level so let's go ahead and get it here reorder level reorder level reorder level okay reorder level so if current quantity is greater than this order level yeah so if it is greater than the order level we put in stock yes if it is not there we put no yep i think that is okay and then we also make sure that we we put that in stock i think it's already there we are using this so that one will help us so after you have calculated then you check if it is in stock or it is not in stock the current quantity so that one will help us really for sure tell if something is running out or not without too much hassle okay so we can Let's go ahead and add that column in the what in the stock subcategory controller stock subcategory controller then you come and put maybe uh, add another column called in stock so you say in stock then if it is yes it is success please no it is danger danger so let's go ahead and refresh here stock subcategory you see all of them they are not in stock so here you can use what you call a dot you can use what you call dot maybe okay and maybe you can put here what you call filter so filter it will tell you to help you to say to get things that are in stock and those that are out of stock and also maybe you can put another filter you see you type them on column and help to filter things that are active and that are not active you see 
refresh so you'll have this extra thing called filter here you see this one you can use it to say okay i want those one in stock and then you can remove and say i want those one out of stock you can be able to see that all right so let's go ahead and run this and make sure it updates let's go back refresh okay let's go ahead and run uh the stock what is it stock controller stock item controller stock item controller so we get the stock subcategory and then we run self update okay and then you see if it will update and tell the one that are in stock and the one that are not in stock so refresh it's done uh let's go back and see if it really updated so sorry this is not the uh, i have to use this okay refresh huh which one is it it's this one <laughs> it's this one okay so you refresh here it's done so if you come here say stock subcategories all right let's see this one still out of stock i think which one was it is it this one that has fresh product yeah so in stock it is still no all right let's see how we fix that okay maybe it's not working properly so we'll come here to stock items and then um so you see how system are not simple to do stock subcategory update self it is here okay so we are here let's see Let's see if, if we are reaching at this level. Okay, and then put your semicolon. So you are trying to see the other level. And uh, so we say current quantity. If current quantity is greater than the other level, everything should be. Okay, so and refresh and see. So what is the current quantity you see? You see? What is current quantity? How do you calculate current quantity? Yes, you see like current quantity is 10 and the other level is... Yeah, I think that is okay. Yeah, I think that is okay. I think that's okay. Refresh. All right, so let's go ahead and... Re I think that's okay uh, so let's also put this one on update self so we come here to okay i think that's okay everything is okay because it was 15 and 10. uh let's put your hooks in this in this top category yeah that's okay all right so let's go ahead and remove this so if let's say it was being it is not it is showing green because reorder level let me show you yeah, i think this is okay you see reorder current quantity is 10 current quantity is 10 reorder level is 50 so it is out of stock uh, but if you make reorder level for example five okay and then come and run this Come and run this and then come and refresh now you can see now i think now it is, should be still in stock now now you see it is green you can see that okay because the current quantity the current quantity is greater than the what than the older level i hope that is that makes sense okay yeah so <laughs> that is done that is done i think that is okay i think that's okay and i think that's all all right so now we need just to move this and put it in the right place so i'll come here and cut this and then we go to stock item and then we put it there in the hooks so we go to stock item here and then we come here where there is the hooks okay 
so they'll you have to make sure that they're in updated and created not in updating it because in updating it is before something is saved so we come here put here model okay we get the store category and then we update itself okay and then we do the same here let me just copy this oh, like this and also the same thing here when something is deleted all right i think that is okay that is okay that is okay that is okay all right so that is fine that is fine so we shall put chrome jobs to make sure that everything is always up to date all right now we go to the last the last part the last important part over in time we are remaining the remaining uh, 19 minutes that is um, that can be enough uh so if you come to our um, downloads come to our downloads and then come to our pdf so i finished this we have finished this one we shall come back and do the mastering eh? but for now the logic of this one is done the logic of this one is done but you shall come back and do the mastering multiple photos all those stuff but you can see the core core logic is done now we come to what to stock records okay stock records <laughs> that is where the wedding is going to be okay so now this is the most important part i mean it's among the most important part and it's the final module that is going to now finalize the whole core system all right let's go ahead and do that all right so come here to stop records and then we come here to important commands and then we come here to stock so let's go ahead and create our hotter stock record stock record model so the mod is going to called stock the record I think that's okay. All right, let's run this. Okay, so we'll go ahead and modify our what? Our stock record controller. There you go. All right. So we begin uh, by adding their things, okay? Uh, okay, let's see what we had put in our table first. There's nothing much that has sense. All right, let's carefully craft this, okay? Uh, let's first begin with the foreign things, okay? Foreign ID for company, of course. Okay, another thing for an ID for stock stock item. Uh -huh. We may need also the foreign ID for stock category, and also we may need stock subcategory so it can be simpler for us to do statistics okay yeah i think that is kawa uh-huh maybe we may need sku item that was really uh, purchased all right uh can we need the name of an item in this i don't think we do because names of items can change anytime eh? <laughs> yeah all right i think that's enough description you don't need it all right so maybe you need the uh, the 
the quantity so my others we need to use float because some people use the decimals i don't know whether we need float here okay our system first shall use quantities but others they that's a challenge uh, they use like uh decimals like if someone takes half a kilogram they'll put 1.5 those i think we shall need it we shall need decimal so let's put a uh, float yeah as the quantity all right i think that is okay Uh, maybe we shall need also maybe the buying price at that particular moment because uh, the price of stocks can change eh? but uh, how much you sold it has to remain the same okay so maybe we can put here so maybe total and that may be a selling selling price and then maybe say total sales on this so it will be the multiple of the two the quantity times the sell yeah total sales no total prices you don't need it all right i think that's okay so you know that here thing another string called it a sale and will help us for those who are not doing maybe the sales or if something is expired you may need to say maybe this item got out because it was expired i think we may need also maybe here to just put type put description and then put maybe type okay Let's make this one nullable. All right, I think that's okay. That is okay. That is okay. Okay, so what else do we need? Quantity is there. See, I think that is okay. I think that's okay for now i should be able to know uh, the company the stock item the stock category the stock subcategory this ku that was sale and then the name maybe the person who created the record which may be created by Put ID. Okay. I think that's okay. I'm trying to make sure that I don't <laughs> skip anything. Quantity. maybe unit ok 
Okay. All right, I think that's okay. What should be nullable here? What should be nullable? Let's make everything nullable apart from the other one. All right, I think that is okay. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. Quantity. How much was sold? This one will be generated from the system. And then to the cells. That one will be generated from the system. I think that's okay. I think that is okay. Yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and migrate this. All right, so there we go. So we have now the stock record. Let's go ahead and get the, the what the class stock record model. This is the model. Set so there. Uh -huh. So after we're going to create now what uh, its controller. Okay, let's create its controller. There you go. I press control. Sorry. I just copy this. Then press control here and I paste it. All right. Then press control here to go to the controller. And then I'm going to add it to a menu. Stock records, or oh, we can call it cells, something like that. ERI. <clears throat> then, store company, I mean, companies and company owners can see them. Then everything is okay. All right. So let's go ahead and refresh here. You can see stock records, it's there. All right, now let's begin with the stock record creation. So I can put here maybe stock records. Can call them the stock out records. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, now and do things that are supposed to be done here. All right. We come to our form. Begin with the, okay, the logged in user. There you go. Okay. Then after, we come here and do the hidden and put there the company ID. Now here we're going to get the stock item that is being sold. Okay, now there can be thousands of items. So what you're going to do, you're going to do Ajax again and load these items asynchronously. So I've already done something like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy and put it here. Where did we do it? We did it in which controller? The control of uh, next control did do Ajax. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Stock items, eh? So I'm going to just copy that information and then put here and then modify. So go to stock item controller. That's why I have some Ajax. Okay, because the stock items can be too many, so I cannot just load them there. Let's just copy this, then come and put it here. Uh, 
so I'll just copy this name stock item that is being sold that is being uh, stock out of the record so I'll paste it there the name and then say select stock item all right now the ajax this was a subcategory ajax not as great i mean the end point of stock items eh? so i'll just simply come to our uh, what our stock items <laughs> let's go to our stock i mean let's go ahead and and uh, go to our api so I'll just simply come here and go to our api going to be under it's going to be under routes api the php so we're going to do a function just like this one so i'm just going to copy to collapse this one i like copy and I duplicate it okay let's copy it and then I come and paste it here like this all right so instead of stock subcategories i'm going to just put your stock items like this okay um now here we have the query okay so here we get the company so everything is the same only that here we're going to put a stock item and company and then you're searching in the name so everything is the same i think everything is the same apart from this one where we are doing what we are adding the measuring units okay but you can as well get its category and adults and also put the measuring units because someone will need to see the measuring units that they are adding and also maybe we'll have to also display their current their current value okay the current value all right i think i'll come here remove this okay so let's first send back the name only okay so everything is okay so the naming might change but the, the, the everything is just the same but only the uh, naming of variables eh? So I think everything is fine. Okay. So the API is called stock items. So let's try that. So I'll come here back to stock item control. I mean sorry, back to stock records controller. And then I put here the Ajax really stock items. Okay. I can even come and remove this and come and put this one here like this you are real that and then come here and say stock subcategory instead of stock subcategory they just simply say stock item all right then after okay of the stock item Thing that is okay so let us first remove the measuring unit and let's just keep the name like this i think that's okay so you can pause the video and look at everything let's put here maybe stock items ajax url yeah i think can pause the video and see that all right i think now that's okay let's try and see refresh uh-huh so you see i can search wait uh stock records new you see i can search into the stocks okay now uh, here we may need to display the available quantity because it's very important for someone not to create a wrong quantity so let's go ahead and uh, create 
uh, the available quantity see so we're going to create a name text uh, for this one just like we did in uh, in uh, store categories and then on the name text we shall be sending back the available quantities so let us do some appends here our time is up put here some appends for name and text right so that's our append and then you do our what our getter and that is our getter so you can say maybe an item and then you state it's what it's subcategory okay you state it's subcategory so do you have a subcategory uh subcategory what subcategory relationship think not it let's create it so say stock item belongs to subcategory like this so by doing like this you're able to know the stock category and then the subcategory so if you come here and try to write a think something isn't right yeah like this there's some mistake here let's so come and write a you see item there so now instead of returning just a plain name okay let's put a name what name text and then uh, let's go ahead and come to the api and then return the name text okay we return the name text so if you come here and put a you see this particular item which is under what under vegetables so that one can help someone to know in which item they are pointing at also maybe you may also need to add their ids so someone can be able to know that okay to this particular item i can put maybe sku Okay, so that someone can be able to know. So you see, the SKU first, then the stock item, and then the, the stock item name, and then the the what, the the category where it is. Maybe you can even leave the category since the SKU will show the category. Uh -huh. So let's come back here to stock, stock what, to stock get name, stock item name. Okay. I want also to display the available quantities so I can say maybe add current quantity on name so you can see I put here put bracket I attach a bracket and then I put the name okay number format I mean I put the number format they say current 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 quantity and then I also attach the word the measuring unit and i put them in bracket you see all those i add them on what on name text so it means that now if someone come here and search you see uh, someone will be able to know okay so measuring unit measuring unit we can get of course on the subcategory then measuring unit so i have put here subcategory measuring unit like this i think that's okay measurement we call it measurement unit if you still remember <laughs> measurement unit i think that's okay all right so if i come here and search you can see that vegetables we are having 10 kilograms and then the name of the vegetable is there and the sku is also there so it means that you can scan something and then it automatically come here okay so you can even search in the middle of the word and then it will show up like that that is so nice that is so so nice so so nice all right i think that's it for today let me check the time oh we should first finish creating this one nope i think that's it for today um i think i still have energy let us finish uh, creating this and then tomorrow we start by just uh, doing the prepare 
right okay so that's it for today let's just stop this one from here then the next lecture uh we can do what we can do now the creating of this item and then also uh doing the the stock the balancing of records so that when you create something it updates the whole what the whole system we start from there in the next lecture make sure that you subscribe to the youtube channel and also make sure that you turn on the bell so that when you upload the next video uh, you are updated and also make sure that you practice don't just watch but watch as you do it watch as you practice because this is not magic as you can see everything is really being done step by step so don't think that you can't do it you can really really do it all right let's meet in the next lecture and goodbye see you there in the next lecture number 11